I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best, even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I feel so depressed when I can't seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me. I do try to stay positive, but I also stay real. And this is fucking real right now. Hi, welcome to me. I just got an impromptu invite from my mom um, to go out with her. We're going to go to the SPCA and play with some kittens um, and just kind of hang out with some cats. That sounds like a grand old time. I had a little breakfast of a yogurt with some, um, I put some frozen strawberries in there and waited for them to thaw a little bit. And then some of that honey bunches of oats that I bought, the Aldi brand was really good. Put that on top. So I'm really glad I ate. I ate not too long before she invited me out to do this. So be perfect to avoid eating out or anything like that. If we're out for too, too long, I might hit up Publix or something um, to go, you know, get a sandwich if like worst case scenario. But it's um, one o'clock. I ate about an hour or so ago. So um, I should be good for a while. I mean, I don't know how long we're going to be gone for. And um, Costco's not super close. So, oh, I will probably get some Costco court food, actually. I don't know if that's going to count as eating out or not. If you guys count that, you can let me know and yell at me about it in the comments. But um, it's technically not a restaurant. <laughs> but if I do do that, I'll show you what I get um, to be accountable for that. And you guys can let me know in the comments if you count that as eating out or not. Um, yeah, we'll see. Because uh, every time we go to Costco or uh, Sam's Club, we always get their, like, court food that's in the grocery store, the wholesale grocery store. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I actually hadn't even thought that, hard, that far ahead yet. So, yeah. Um, and I'm going to go with her to Costco. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, like, shop around fully with her the whole time or not. It's going to depend on how my knee's acting today. Um, I did work out yesterday, so this will definitely count as my workout for today. If you've been to Costco, you know how big it is. Um, and that is hard for me to do um, sometimes for sure. So um, I'm excited to see how today goes. So I'm recording a clip because I want to ask you a question. Um, would you count ordering something off of the Costco court area as eating out? That's what I want to know. That I want to know what you think. <laughs> You're laughing at me. <laughs> I guess I want your opinion. You know, that's Thank you. It's what I'm saying, Mom. <laughs> okay, now hmm, the the spirit of your so it bypasses, I think, the literal <laughs> correct uh, meaning of your goal. However, you do have some wiggle room there with. Uh, so it sounds like a morally ambiguous area, then. Which could. <laughs> get around it and, uh -huh, uh -huh. and I think I would order one thing like I wouldn't yeah. go crazy right. but also the other thing too is hey it's Costco right it's cheaper it's cheaper to buy it mm -hmm. than to make it when they do it that way see see you guys <laughs> I there there it is it's mom approved you can't yell at me in the comments now I don't remember it was on the sign look at those green eyes hi darling Thank you. This is dark. Mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then the other one was in here. Mm -hmm. Is this Tootsie? I believe so. Tootsie's the tiger varnish. Dark is seven years old. Oh my gosh. Mom, I love dark. I love that too. And his eyes. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my hand cat tattoo. Oh my gosh, I love you so much, baby. Look at you. Oh my goodness. 
Mom. <laughs> Mom. Rosalind. Mom, look at him. Oh, yeah. baby. Yeah, there's just something special about black cats. I just don't understand yeah. why people say what they say about it. Unfortunately, yeah, he might still be here by the time we're ready for a cat. I hope not. I hope you get a safe home. I hope you do, darling. I'm a good mom. Can I say hi to the YouTubes? And I love to be talk. Give me a kiss, Kathleen. Touch you. Touch you. Wow, she's going to touch you. No, he's good. Just come on in quick. Oh, is that loud? We okay. I, I we don't have any. Right? I'm just saying uh hi. I'm gonna step back. Okay. So we can take some treats in the next time I just wrote down. Yeah. So this is Sparky. His back's turning right now. He hasn't hissed yet. They said once he hisses, we need to basically bounce. Yeah, so I'm gonna give him some. Yeah, so I'm, I'm taking my time. And oh, somebody's. Oh, sleeping. goodness. Hi, Greg. Oh, somebody she's just, a very skittish one. Somebody just laid a deuce out there. It's fine. <laughs> hey, Sparky. So, this is who I'm Ginger? I think so. Oh, she looks so tired. Well, yeah, life's hard when you're a kitty. Yeah, it must be stressful being here, too. Hey, Sparky. Yeah, he's off doing his own thing. He's sniffing our purses, Mom. Good. He's getting a lay of the land. Hello, beautiful. Yeah. Do you need to be left alone? Too many people bugging you to die? Yeah, look at Yeah, she's like... Uh, yeah, she's, in, she's tired. Yeah. He's off doing his own thing. We'll just hang out with them for a few minutes, I think. Give him some space. Mm -hmm. Oh, she said to not touch him in the lower back at all. But you know that floor feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. And I would be doing the same thing. Ginger. She's only nine months old. Yeah. She's so tiny. You're so tiny. Mm. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm, I'm not even planning to go near the cage at this point. I'm just going to let her be. <laughs> and also, it might be because it's later. Well, no, this is going from 12 to 4. Yeah. So, oh, wow. It's only a little after 1. It might just be over. Overwhelmed. Hi, Sparky. He did let me scratch his face for a moment when I first walked in. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I got to scratch him too. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Jasper likes to use teeth and nails, so we're gonna be hi. We approach with respect. We let you sniff, okay? You don't seem too interested. I'll do flat hand. May I? Mm, I'm not reading well off your body language. Yeah, it's nice to meet you though. We're not gonna push you. That's okay. Oh, hi. Oh, okay. I guess I misread you. You want love? Okay, come here, baby. Hi. Oh goodness. Oh, I'm so sorry. My purse scared him. Let me set that down here. Come on. Oh my gosh. Hi. Oh my goodness. I'm in shook right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. Thank you for trusting me. Oh my gosh. Oh. Mom. Mom!
Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. You are a beautiful tuxedo. Yes, mm -hmm. you are. Those eyes. We just want to say hi. Let you know that people are good. Oh, he's staring at the camera. Or she's staring at the camera too. Yeah. Hi, baby. Yep. That's softening of his body, like her body language. Yeah. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. You're so pretty. Oh, there yeah. we go. This is so big. Because I'm not touching you and getting in your space. You're yeah. okay. Um, what would you do that for? She might perceive the camera as a threat. I'll move the camera. I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come back up. Twinkle, we hope you get a nice cat mom and daddy family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is Olivia. She doesn't come out of her little hole. She did not respond well to my sunglasses scent, so. Here we go, now we're turning oh. around. Twinkle, that's so pretty. Trixie girl, look at you. Beautiful girl. Yeah, oh my gosh. <gasps> Give it to the camera, girl. Yes, work, model, work. Sweet girl. Oh, I'm in love with you. That's Gabby. Yeah. yeah. She's like three months old, I think. She's probably tired. She looks sleepy. Oh, you're such a lovely girl. You're going to have to teach your mama how to... Kitty, kitty, kitty. Gabby, we're just trying to get a picture of her face. You're filming, right? Yeah. Okay. Gabby girl. Oh, she oh. smells like vanilla. She's so beautiful. Look at that little face. She's tired. Those eyes yeah. are. Gabby, I'm beautiful. Oh, <laughs> look at those sleepy eyes. Yeah. Oh, that feels good. I can't go to sleep yet. Yeah, that feels good, huh? Oh, hey, Gabby girl. I don't think she's going to have a problem finding a home. Uh, not ours. <laughs> Please. Oh, 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 oh so, slow, so slow moving. So slow moving. I was being too extra. Oh, God. Yes. I got a little too excited. And she's tired, too. So I wonder how long these kittens need to sleep before I can wake them up. <laughs> We're going to go say hi. We'll, we'll, we'll take turns. I'll give you Gabby. She loves being held like this. Well, I think she probably needs a break after. The first lady. Yeah. Hello. Boy, you guys are out. You are out, out, out. Kikis. No, nope, they're not. I'm not even. They are so out. I'm gonna go ahead. You wanna take some photos? Costco is chaos, but I just wanted to show you guys. This is what I'm doing here. Costco is chaos, but I have a free sample and my pizza. I'm gonna go sit and eat my food. Like I said, if you wanna yell at me in the comments, go ahead. I don't think it's cheating. Costco is a madhouse. Oh, I have found my mother. <laughs> Hi, Pepsi, you want some? Yeah, take it. I, I'll get a refill before we go. They do, up front. No, no. Oh. Yeah, it's not the best, but I didn't want any of the sugary options. So I didn't see any sweet potato chips. I guess we'll be, we will be going to Aldi then. I'm at almost, I'm at almost an hour of zone minutes for the day, which any day I can do that is a good day for me and where I'm currently at physically. I think I'm gonna get up and try to push it even longer after I take a much needed break because I just basically walked the perimeter of Costco, so. <sighs> Plus, like other stuff, I was kind of checking out some of the samples. They had a lot of healthy ones out today, like liquid IV and stuff. I had something happen while I was at the cat rescue that was really annoying 
I don't know if it's gonna be included in this vlog or if I'll make separate vlogs because I kind of want to like keep this vlog happy and whatever but it did kind of like impact my mood a little bit because I got triggered um hello friends I recently uh, just showered I think it's been a couple days I'm probably gonna tag this at the end of the uh, vlog from a couple days ago when we went to um, SPCA and I've just had this idea in my head that eventually I'll make on camera but I'm doing the prep right now for part of it I'm gonna make an onion and cabbage like easy slaw because I just I've had something similar in the past of these like uh, barbecue pork nachos um, with kettle chips at a, like I had it years ago at a restaurant when I used to live in Omaha. Um, but I wanna make that with the sweet potato chips and some of the pulled pork that we have in the fridge. And I have all this cabbage that I need to use up. So I'm gonna cut it up smaller and put in some onion. And I've got water, about two thirds of a cup of water. And I'm just gonna start throwing stuff together. I'm not like making a, a real brine or anything. I'm honestly just kind of pulling this on my ass. Um, but I had some updates I wanted to talk about because, um, you know, I kind of alluded to this in one of my previous vlogs. And my mom recently informed me that she was comfortable with me talking about this kind of stuff. I'll start with this much. I just don't want to accidentally put too much. I can always add more if I need it. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, she... The, one of the, the reason I can't move um, is because my mom was unjustly let go. Florida's an at-wheel state, and it's a long story, but um, things have changed around here, so I'm gonna stay to kind of help out, out around, you know, the finances and everything. Um, but that's why my plans have shifted. I just didn't wanna go talking about my mom's business without, you know, her saying it was cool. So that's why my moving is postponed for the time being. In, indefinitely at this point um, and because of that um, I did actually reach out to the uh, nutritionist this is the Fiesta sweet and tangy seasoning it's mainly paprika and garlic and onion powder and a couple few other things but I'm just gonna add a little bit of that and then um, I did grab ranch seasoning I think I won't do that I think I'll just do garlic onion and, these, and salt obviously but anyway, um, yeah, so that's part of that. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted. I'm trying to multitask here. And then let's wash the shower and salt. And I am gonna add a pinch of sugar, not much. Might be a little more than a pinch, I haven't decided yet. I'm Southern, so I let the spirits control what I do. But now I also let the diabetes have a say. <laughs> You know, but this is going to be kind of like a brine, so let me add a little extra salt. But with the heat and the saltiness, I do want to just start, I'll do probably a couple pinch, a few pinches. Mm. Yeah. Two and a half pinches. <laughs> That's it. I just didn't want to put no sugar in this because I feel like it would... With me and vinegar, I'm not like a huge fan, but yeah, I had a lot of fun that day with my mom. And right before we left, um, I got really triggered and um, I started making decisions that I wish I just hadn't done. Because I need to remember that people who are abusers are really good at being abusive and flipping narratives. And I'm here to heal. And if I say that's what I'm going to stick to, that's what I need to do. And it is that simple. So, I'm going to carry onward. So, um... I think there was something else I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, and um, about the Costco pizza. I am curious what you guys are gonna think about that because I, I do agree with my mom. Earlier in the month, actually, I was really heavily considering, I even vlogged talking about potentially getting a pub sub that I never did because Publix has a deli 
that has like subway style sandwiches that are like culturally at least in florida very revered and they're super delicious they're great sandwiches if you know you know you know but um i purposefully chose not to because like i was so new into the challenge and i was genuinely just like you know i don't even want to get into the bait the debate of like is it eating out or not but that was like day 21 or 22 that i did that and i was like you know what i don't think it's technically eating out and it was less than three dollars for the drink and the um pizza and my mom was right it was it was cheaper to do it that way than to make it yourself but yeah so i'm excited to hear back from the nutritionist um because i'm gonna start setting up the I'm gonna I'm gonna get scheduled as soon as she let me in, and I'm gonna start that process with her. Now that I don't have to worry about the expenditure of moving, like yeah, I have to worry about other things. But um, I talked to my mom about it, and um, we think it's a good idea to go ahead and move forward. And she's willing to kind of understand that that's gonna be a priority for me for a while. I explained the financial commitment to her, so here I cut I slice I did slices, and then I cut the slices into thirds like that. Just so they're like kind of bigger pieces, but because I have like a vision of what I want here and I'll save this other half for something else. So basically I just kind of quickly ran my knife through since I've already shredded this. So I'm gonna go ahead and temporarily transfer this liquid into this empty cup. Just in case it's too much or too little, I'm not sure. Like I said, trying with something new here. So I'm gonna start by just putting, I'm gonna kind of space out the layers. I'm gonna do a layer of cabbage oh that is strong smelling oh maybe i should my nose is telling me it needs more sugar but i'm not gonna do it as much as i would like to to be honest with you it might taste better but i can compensate in other ways when i you know use this in whatever recipes Onion. This might even be good in salad, you know. There's probably multiple uses for this. I think I pulled out too much cabbage. All right, I am gonna put all the onion that I cut up in here though. And I forgot, I wanted to add some minced garlic into this situation. So. I'm just, I'm not gonna, there's almost no oil on the spoon. Actually there's, yeah, there's none, cool. Ooh, it splashed on me. Did not love that. Just kind of do a little. It should already be pretty combined because I did the shake method. So I packed it a little bit, but not too much because I do want room for this to travel down. I might have nailed this. So close. Look how close we're talking here. Okay, all the garlic stayed at the bottom of my cup, but that's okay. I'll just kinda. <laughs> Cinematic was annoying me. <laughs> so, sorry about that. But look, I haven't removed the labels of these. We I keep all these jars, because by the way, these are the best peaches on the planet. Like the best jarred peaches. In fact, I love to add like cinnamon, nutmeg, um, and a little bit of vanilla extract to a jar of these and let it sit in the fridge for a couple of days. And it's like dessert peaches, they're so good. And in the cabbage bag, when I had prepped the salad stuff, I found three stray carrot slices I'm gonna just throw on top because I wanna see um, how those taste with this brine, but not for the you know nacho recipe, but just in general, since I have it. And I'll probably just shake this every now and again. I don't know when I'm gonna actually make said nachos. But yeah, I'm gonna go refrigerate this and yeah. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love to.